are following some breaking news this noon. Highmark Health and Allegheny Health Network are making a major announcement today about their investment in this community. Good afternoon, I'm Stacy Smith. And I'm Christine Sorensen. Plans are in the works for five new hospitals to be built. Highmark says it will expand access to health care services all over the region. Paul Martino joins us now with more on what it means for all of us. Paul. Yeah, I'm just back from their news conference and still sorting this out, but here's what I can tell you. Allegheny Health Network planning to invest up to two and a half billion dollars over the next five years for new hospitals and the expansion of their existing hospitals. They say they're going to build a new 160 bed hospital in Wexford adjacent to that big health and wellness pavilion they already have there. And they plan on building four smaller neighborhood hospitals at locations they haven't determined yet. In addition, there's expansion plan for Allegheny General, Forbes, Jefferson, and West Penn hospitals. They say this expansion will bring more health care to communities and make health care more efficient. We're reaffirming our commitment to provide the health care our communities need in the future, not the past. And we believe that these expansions, renovations, and new facilities will fill, fill critical gaps that are driving the cost of health care and leading to maybe the, not the best outcomes. This work's expected to begin next year and take a couple of years to complete. They're promising 800 new health care jobs and hundreds of construction jobs. Now, question is how will this affect health care cost in a market that's dominated by UPMC? Couldn't really get specifics on that except that they say, and I want to get this correct, that it will have a positive impact on premiums long term. So no specifics there. But they do say having health care in the neighborhood is more efficient and should make cost lower. Well, this is obviously a major announcement. Now, on these these uh, smaller hospitals, I'm going to call them smaller. Are they going to, what, yeah, what they size are, are they talking they are, about? They are eight to ten beds. Okay. So they're not for long-term care, but they will have 24-hour-a-day emergency room service. So that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah it, for absolutely. sure. Absolutely. And you're going to be working more on what they had to say coming a up later. A lot more this yeah. afternoon because right. there's a lot of material to sort through, but All right. I gave you the basics. Look forward to your report All this right. afternoon, Paul. Thank you. Thank you.